What's up? My name is Technobe here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll show you how to install the brand new Stable Diffusion 2.0 model in Automatic 11.11's web UI. It's incredibly powerful and if you don't know what I'm talking about in the description down below, you'll find installation guides for the web UI on both Windows and Linux slash WSL. Basically, you use your own hardware to generate your own images. It's completely free other than the fact that you need to own a relatively new NVIDIA or AMD graphics card preferably in video. Anyways, to begin, I'll open up where I have Stable Diffusion Web UI. In my case, it's this folder here. And all we need to do is make sure it's up to date. Either you've edited the Web UI user bat file to include git pull, for example, or you can simply run in this folder by typing CMD up here and hitting enter to open a command prompt git pull here instead. That way, you'll update Stable Diffusion Web UI. And when everything's up to date, we can start installing Stable Diffusion 2.0. So on Automatic 11.11's Stable Diffusion Web UI, I'll head across to the wiki at the very top, then Features, and inside of here, you'll see Stable Diffusion 2.0. This will be in the description down below. So only the Stable Diffusion 2.0 V model is supported. To use it, we'll need to download the checkpoint from Hugging Face. So all we need to do is click here. Then on this page, click Download. Do note that you will need an account to be signed in, and you'll need to accept something before you're able to download it. When you have, click download, and shortly after, a 5 gigabyte file will then download. Then all we need to do is place it in the model's stable diffusion directory, which is, if you already don't have it open, inside of the main stable diffusion web UI folder here, we're looking for the models folder. Then stable diffusion, and we'll drop it in here. There we go. I'll simply drag it into the folder here, wait for it to move. We don't want to be copying huge files like this. Then it should be called 768-v-ema.ckpc. To see file extensions on Windows 11, click View, then Show, and make sure that file name extensions is ticked. For good luck, also tick Hidden Items. On Windows 10, on the View tab at the very top, you'll see two tick boxes. Anyways, when you've made sure it's named exactly like this, head back to the wiki page here, where we'll find grab the config. All we need to do is make sure it's named 768-v-ema.yaml. I'll copy this. And of course, the checkpoint should be named similarly, but .ckpt. So I'll right click the config here, or rather the link to the config, choose save link as, and I'll also navigate to the correct folder. So Stable Diffusion Web UI Models Stable Diffusion, and we'll save it in here as 768-v-ema.yaml. Save. Now that these two files are located directly next to each other and named exactly the same other than ckpt and yaml after them, we can head back to folders and launch up webuiuser.bat. Now an 800 megabyte diffusion wrapper will then be downloaded as well as a roughly four gigabyte file as well. So this will take quite a bit of time. Just a quick note, while this is downloading, training will probably be broken for most of the 2.0 models, at least for a short while until it's updated but the rest of the features do work pretty much as per normal. Of course, as time goes on, things will change and new features will be added. But for now, at least we can use text to image, image to image, as well as in painting and out painting. There we go. It's now successfully launched. I can click this link. And now all we need to do is make sure that in the top left up here, we click the drop down and choose 768VEMA. That way we'll be loading the 2.0 stable diffusion and we can start generating images. I'll generate Linus Tech Tips dropping an NVIDIA graphics card, for example, looking at the command prompt as we generate just to make sure nothing is going wrong. There we go. We have an image. Okay, I seem to have confused it. But as you can see, things are looking really bad. Why is this? Well, simply because the Stable Diffusion 2.0 needs the image with an height to be at least 768. So dragging these up, you'll see that things don't look so messed up when we have a compatible size. Of course, this will take a bit longer and use a lot more VRAM, but it's necessary for 2.0, at least for now. There we go. We have a much more human looking image or well, rather clean looking image. It's not so green and weird. Anyway, let's try something a bit better. There we go. Okay, not as photorealistic as I was hoping, but anyways. <laughs> Things are working as they should be. This is Stable Diffusion 2.0, which is what we were hoping for. Of course, with some better prompts, you'll get some better images. Throwing together something, maybe adding some artist names and things like that, we'll get something a bit better. Yes, definitely a lot better. 
Anyways, that's pretty much it for this super quick guide. That is how to get Stable Diffusion 2.0 working in Automatic 11.11's web UI. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Techno Behavior Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.